Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today, we are going to be showcasing the newly Extremely Awakened STR LR Broly at rainbow status on the global side of the game. Now, usually for these videos, I like to use one of the longer events in the game, like the Legendary Goku event, Infinite Dragon Ball History, so on and so forth. But today, we're actually on the movie bosses stage of Super Battle Road, because this is where I feel like Broly can really shine, where he can really dominate, and at this point, I don't think there's another unit in this game that can come even close to him, you know, like with the EZA, this guy has become, in my opinion, the undisputed king of Super Battle Road, and I'm sure a lot of you guys will agree with me after this video is over. Now, before we get into the showcase, let me quickly uh, go over the details for his EZA. If you guys already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about 30 seconds to a minute, okay? So, starting with his leader skill, it's STR types key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 120%. His 18 key super, or sorry, his 12 key super raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage to all enemies. And his 18 key super also raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. His passive is attack and defense plus 50% plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% and launches an additional super attack when performing a super attack and then key plus 5 when there is a pure sands or hybrid sands category enemy and then attacks effective against all types and guaranteed to hit when there is a Goku's family category enemy. His links as you can see are not the greatest, kind of mid right now like 3, 4, 5 and his skill orbs are... Not the best either. Level 2 attack, the best I have right now. Level 2 dodge, which I gave him months ago before I knew about the EZA. And then level 5 crit, which I gave him today because he's just that awesome, man. He definitely deserves it. So, uh, yeah, he could be better than what you see in this video, but he should still be pretty impressive nonetheless with like suboptimal uh, links and skill orbs. So, there's my Broly. And with all that said, let's jump into the run here. Uh, we have the double Broly rotation. We have Tech Frieza at the end who obviously provides no support. And we do have one attack before Broly gets the super which is a little bit concerning but it should be okay. We're starting off with 83,348 defense. That should go over 200,000 after he supers. And uh, why don't we... We could do an 18 key super but why don't we actually start with two 12 key supers and I kind of want to see if Broly can just clear the field by himself. I've seen it happen before so maybe he can do that for this video and just uh, start things off right. Okay so about 2.7 million for the first super and we got Gohan down to about 50%. We do need a crit to really kill him I think um, otherwise he'll probably survive with like a sliver of HP. There we go. Okay, so Gohan's still alive. The other two guys are dead. And dude, look at the difference in in tanking. Like how much did we take the first time for the first normal attack? Like 60k, right? And then we took double digits for the second attack. So as I said, huge difference between, you know, tanking before the super and tanking after the super, since he launches two super attacks, he's actually raising his defense twice, right, that turn. So if you can, definitely run him in the second or third slots, because he's much safer there, and he's actually a very good tank in those uh, in those spots. So now, this turn, I'm a little bit concerned. I'm actually going to pop a Ghost Usher, just to be extra safe, so we can get to the next turn. And uh, let's use these guys to soften up the enemies a bit, and then I think STR Broly will most likely finish the job by himself next turn. Uh, let's go back to Goku here. Alright, so yeah, I think the last stage gave you guys a pretty good idea of like the destructive capabilities of STR Broly. I mean, not only is he doing so much damage, right, which he was always known for, I guess, like when he first came out, he was easily like one of, if not the hardest hitting unit in the game. And he remained one of the hardest hitting units for a while, actually. But his defense was always the main issue, right? His defense was always absolute garbage. Not only was it bad to start, he actually lost a lot of defense after he supered. So, 
yeah, that was just a concern. It, it really sucked. But um, now, not only is he doing crazy damage, but he's also uh, getting great defense too. Okay, so these guys overdid a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I wasn't expecting these guys to be so close to death. And we also killed Trunks by accident. So that's my bad. But let's do a 18 key super here. Uh, that's gonna be 20, 21 key. Okay, so not, not max, but close enough. And let's kill Broly, or rather, no. Let's use Broly to kill Vegeta. He's supering us here. 79k, that's not bad. And 5.4 mil is the acing key attack stat. Vegeta is super dead now, for sure. And then the additional should kill off Goku as well. I think. Yes, Goku's dead. Oh yeah, we have the uh, attack effective against all, right? So that wasn't a concern. There we go. And yo, it's actually really good for Super Battle Road 2, or not Super Battle Road, uh, for the World Tournament 2, because his passive gives him a key plus 5 when facing pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans, which, you know, a lot of people use in the World Tournament. And, you know, every so often you will be running into, you know, a pure Saiyan. Like, a lot of people I see, I see run, like, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. It might just be the computer, actually, but I see SSB Vegeta, I see Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, stuff like that. So when you face those teams, you'll also get attacks effective against all in the World Tournament and just make it even easier to clear the enemy team, right? So his passive was definitely made for both, I think, Super Battle Road and the World Tournament. And uh, he's just... He's just freaking dope. He's just freaking dope. That's all I can really say. Okay, so on this turn, I'm gonna pop a Princess Snake. I feel pretty safe with the... Frieza in front. Actually, we might want to play it like this because there's a lot more attacks in the middle. So yeah, that's that's okay. That's fine. And uh, once again, these guys will just do the job of softening up the uh, the Saiyans here, and then or the hybrid Saiyans, and then Broly will you know do his thing. And that's gonna be it, guys. A fairly short showcase overall, I would say. We're getting supered immediately. That hurts a little bit, okay. <laughs> but, um, you know, that's just Broly, man. He he makes quick work of these stages. That's why I call him the Undisputed King of Super Battle Road. I don't know if anybody can dispute that, but if you guys have some, you know, issues with that claim, feel free to let me know in the comments, man. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm down to dispute this. I'm down to uh, talk about this. Man, we are actually taking quite a bit of damage. I was not expecting that. Like, oh no, it was Broly before, right? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, Broly took a lot of damage. Thankfully, we did pop the item, so we're not gonna die this turn, but we might come close. Might come close. We did get lucky that two of the supers landed on the Golden Frieza, but that was that was kind of scary, man. I can't lie. Okay, um, I don't think... We're gonna get supered again in the front, are we? It's not gonna happen, right? Because he already supered us before. So I think Broly will be safe now. I mean, if he's not, we might die, which would really suck. So I'm gonna give him one orb here. We're gonna go for the double 12 key. And after he supers, I won't be too worried. But before he supers, yo, if this trunk supers us right now, we're good. We're good. Okay, 88k. It sucks, but... <laughs> We survived, and uh, you guys will see the difference. Unless we kill everybody right now, then you might not see the difference. In tanking, that is. Uh, we might kill everybody. Yeah. I think they're all dead. Oh, never mind. No, Goten's still alive. Now Fizz Broly will, you know, do his thing. And that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's showcase. Um... Yo, let me know, man, what you guys think about the EZA. I am... I'm so happy with it, man. I mean, I'm a huge Broly fan, as I'm sure a lot of you guys are. Uh, I've had STR Broly for... Pretty much since he came out. He was the first LR I pulled. And, um... I've just been wanting him to be useful outside of the World Tournament for so long, and... You know, that day is finally here. I would feel okay with using him for, obviously, Super Battle Road. But even like the legendary Goku event, Infinite Dragon Ball history, like I think his defense is good enough now after he supers that, you know, you can feel safe about just bringing him there without being a liability on defense at all. In fact, he should be one of your tankier units 
on any team. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. Uh, that's all I really got to say. Uh, oh, one thing actually I want to show you guys before we go that I found today. I thought it was pretty funny. I have a friend on my friends list right now, right? That uh, I guess I made like around the time I started or like maybe a little bit before that uh, or a little bit after that. Um, and he <laughs> hasn't logged in for 1224 days. His name is Broly with an I. His friend supporter is Broly, LR Broly. Like he, he must be a huge Broly fan. And the main reason I brought or rather kept him this whole time was because um, back back in the day, like he would just always be an available Broly friend for a world tournament, right? And uh, over time, I was like, I should delete this guy, but then you know it's been so many days, like I should just keep him for sentimental value. And yo, like if you're out there, Broly, like it's time to come back. It's time to make a return, cause like the easy A is here. You can you know make your STR Broly even more of a monster. I mean, I kind of doubt that he has the team to beat the EZA event, but you know, like he can start building towards that, right? So guys, yo, if you know this guy, this Broly man who hasn't played for 1224 days, let him know to make his way back, make his return, the time has come. And yeah, that is gonna be today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. I just realized how many times I said video in the last like 10 seconds. Either way, like the video, uh, hit that notification bell, hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And as always, um, oh no, I already said that. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.